So how do you think the student elections went overall? I was pleasantly surprised with the student elections. I know certainly with three of our sabbatical officers running for re-election, they couldn't campaign as much as they would have liked to because obviously we are still have a full-time job. Commitments, responsibilities, meetings prevented them from being out as much as they would have liked, so I was happy. And on terms of campaigning, how mm -hmm. did you feel the all candidates did in their campaigning? Some performed better than others. I was disappointed with um, some of the candidates campaigning, actually. Um, last year I ran uncontested, so people were like, why are you even out here? Like, you know you're going to win, which one obviously is not true. Reopen Nominations has won twice in the last two years. But my belief is that if you can't be bothered to get out and campaign, then why are you wanting to like be an elected representative for students? And whenever I campaigned last year, I was out from I was out by nine a.m. for the three days of voting, and on one of the, the nights we went around halls, so I didn't get back into to into my staff at nine o'clock at night. And I think that shows dedication, motivation, commitment, which are all key qualities to have if you want to be on the student executive. You've talked a lot before about getting more students to vote. Mm -hmm. um, do you feel that that's happened this time? Do you feel that there's been a better turnout in voting? Um, I don't. I don't know for definite. I don't think there is a better turnout voting from this year from last year. But I don't think you can compare the two, in the sense that again, as I said, half my candidates couldn't campaign as much as they could. So I know. In that sense, voting is down, but you can't directly compare the two. I think that school presidents have had, some of them had a much bigger turnout, which I was really happy with. And what I'm hoping is that based on the work that I have done um, since I came into office, that's why there's been a bigger turnout and that the candidates were campaigning more. And hope, you know, I would like to see a steady increase in that whenever the, the new deputy president takes office. Now, obviously, this year your position as deputy president has been a contested position, mm -hmm. it's exceptionally close. In yes, picture. yes it was. How do you feel students have reacted to that? Um, to be honest, I mean, I haven't really heard a lot on campus. Certainly with both sides of the, you know, the campaigners, obviously relief for people that wanted, you know, Stefan's friends and obviously disappointment from Maria's friends. But on the actual overall student body, I haven't heard much. So, taking into account how close this has been, how do you feel, why do you feel students should get involved again? With running or for voting? Both, really. Okay, well, if, I'm, if you want to be really selfish about why you should get involved with representation, everybody has a degree. Nobody can get a job. And that sounds really harsh, but it's true. Unfortunately, we are in an economic climate where having a degree does not mean as much as it used to. So from that perspective, being able to say that you were a representative shows leadership, it shows engagement, it shows, again, commitment, dedication, drive, all these qualities that employers are looking for, are seeking for to get it, you know, so that in that sense, it will, there's, undoubtedly, it will help you get a job after you leave uni. Um, from my perspective, the main reason why I ran was because I had the best time at uni. I had the most wonderful experience and I wanted to ensure that I could help people that weren't having the same experience that I had, you know, quality wise. And I wanted to give I wanted to give that back to the I know it sounds really cheesy, doesn't it? But I did. I did. So that's why I think it's important that people on like, you know, sort of step out of themselves for one second and put things into perspective. I mean, the skills that I have learned are gonna be invaluable to me for the rest of my life. Um why should people vote? Because, you know, whether it's school president or whether it's student executive or independent member of court, these are important positions. These are people that are going to be, you know, working alongside or against the university to try and get your reading list out earlier, to get you 24 hour library access, to get you your ad an advisor of studies who's actually there, to get exam timetabling out. You know, it's quite frustrating because these things happen. We have these successes and the students know that it's changed, but they don't care how it's changed. And they need to understand that if you don't, you know, if you're not, you know, we are really engaged and committed, but not, you can't assume that each candidate that gets elected is going to be. And what happens if you get a moron who's elected, who doesn't, who's, you know, 
gone for the position for selfish reasons, who isn't committed to improving and enhancing the student experience. I don't believe, as a student on campus, you then would have the right to complain if you didn't exercise your right to vote. Thanks very much. <laughs> Sorry, that would have been a bit of a rant there, didn't it? Apologies. No, I just, it's very, it, I'm very passionate about no, it was people voting. Thanks to one other person who has been said thanks to quite a few times tonight, but without who, none of this would have happened. Without, without who, I would have had a much worse year as president. So, I want to everyone, give a big round of applause for Jane Ray, our deputy president.